Welcome back to the Uranium Fever channel. After first appearing in Season 12, Rip Daring is back for another Fallout Cryptid themed season in Duel with the Devil. In today's video, we're taking a look at all the current data mines for the upcoming Season 16 for Fallout 76, featuring a lot of Jersey Devil themed camp items, outfits, and even power armor, as well as a new Assaultron camp ally and one of the most interesting unique weapons to feature on our scoreboard so far. Let's dive straight in. Special thanks to Sugar Bombs Rats for providing the visuals for today's video. Consistently giving us a first look at new items coming to the game, please give them a follow on Twitter or their links in the video description. Starting with that unique weapon first, we have the Cremator, a weapon very reminiscent of the classic Hellfire Troopers heavy incinerator. This unique weapon will actually come with several new paint jobs though, with the standard, rip daring and peepers paint all available on the board. There's more though, because for the first time this weapon will be even more customizable with unique receivers that will change the visual look of the weapon, but also the actual flames produced by it. It's a really interesting addition, and I'm a big fan of how versatile this weapon seems to be. We aren't done just yet though, because the Season 16 board will also have some mods for the weapon as rewards too, these being the Slow Burner and Napalmer weapon mods. The Peeper's Paint for that weapon is also available for many others too. You can pick up Peeper's Paints for the Auto Axe, Plasma Caster, Lever Action Rifle, Combat Rifle, Double Barreled Shotgun, Pump Action Shotgun, and the Gauss Rifle. As weapon paints on scoreboards go, I quite like these. Moving on, another staple of every season are player icons. Running through these icons, we have the new ally, Adelaide, Guinevere on Vacation, Jersey Devil, Peepers, Devilish Skull, Guinevere Cucumber Eyes, Rip Daring Cremator, Jersey Devil Vault Boy, D for Devil, Rip Daring Vacation, and Rip Daring Flex. A new pair of emotes are also coming with Season 16, with a juggling emote and good luck emote. Here's how both of those look. There's also a pair of new photo mode frames for camera mode. These are the Pine Barrens, Devil Hunt, and Jersey Shore Vacation. Let's take a look at all the floor decor data mines for Season 16 next, as there's quite a lot here. Up first, we have a set of model robots for your camp that were once junk items you could display or break down for materials. First seen in the Atlantic City Expedition, the most sensational game, the wet floor sign caused waves once the build community realized that these could be picked up and displayed. They still can, of course, but you'll also be able to build them as well too very soon. Build your own ship's wheel with this next item, or set down your very own ice cream stand, with two buildable variants available. There's also a new floor mat called Big Feet, another rug with a horseshoe pattern. If you were tired of using the same buildable gorillas, then you'll be pleased to know there's a new option on the way in the form of this gorilla statue. Raider cages you can see out in the wasteland are now going to be buildable at your camp too. The Tiki music box is a bit of new clutter to decorate with, although I suspect this might have an interactive element as well. A dead Brahmin is a gruesome new piece of floor decor. As it's a cryptid theme for the season, this trio of cryptid tiki statues look amazing, I think. And there's also another floor sign this time for hot dogs. There's also some construction themed bits of floor decor as well, with this construction barrier and a construction loader set to be on the board too. A selection of new bowling balls has some initial visuals, and last but definitely not least, here's how the unique Stein for Season 16 will look. Moving on to some camp items next. A new camp kit to kick things off, we have the Grass Roof Kit. This will apparently pair quite well with the Pine Barrens Cabin Build Kit, which we can see used in game together in these storefront images. The Pine Barrens of course being a big part of the new update, as the original location in which the Atlantic City's Jersey Devil is reputed to reside in. There's also a Pine Barrens wallpaper for your interiors, and a Cryptid Hunt wallpaper too using the illustrations of cryptids from the scoreboard in Season 12. A single camp collector is set to release with this season, and it's called the Water Boiler. It's a pretty safe bet what this one will do, and it's great to see more collectors appearing with practically every new update. It's an interesting scoreboard this one, as it ties in a holiday beachfront theme alongside the cryptids, and this interesting new set of shelves is more the former than the latter. The surfboard set of wall shelving comes in a total of six variations, but that's not all though, because if you prefer to hang them off the wall or have them resting on the floor, then you can do that too with a separate set of water core surfboards, which also come with six variations. Staying with water core for a moment, of course there are going to be some new posters, and up first we have one for the Rose Room, which is Appalachia's first nightclub. And we also have this pair of Rip Daring themed wall posters as well, with some amazing illustrations showing off in these. Technically I guess this next one could qualify as ceiling decor, but, but you can attach some hanging tire baskets from your ceiling in your camp, and ward off any potential intruders with this cage sign, which actually seems like it will pair really well with the Raider Cage from earlier on. A couple of things seem to be very different about this season. One bigger battle pass, which we'll touch on later, but also the shape of the board itself. 
as we can see in this end of season artwork, displayed in a much wider frame than usual. Not sure how I feel about this change personally, but let me know what you think down in the comments. There are also a host of new road signs for you to use from this collection, but moving on from war decor, it's time to look at some Jersey Devil themed furniture, starting with the Jersey Devil shooting gallery. There's also another xylophone for your camp, this one being homemade though. And finally, we have a bullseye trampoline. Moving on to lights, and there's a couple of new ones here, a trio of tiki lights and a tiki torchlight as well. Here's how both of these look set down on the camp in these storefronts. And now it's time for a closer look at one of the most interesting new items on this scoreboard, the new Assault Run ally, Adelaide, and it seems like it will give an interesting buff to the player. A bonus effect called Human Robot Interaction, which will reduce damage from robots by 25% and increase damage to robots by 15%. Looking forward to learning more about this one, as it's great to see an Assault Run ally make its debut. Moving on to outfits, the Rip Daring's unique outfit and the Piff Helmet, which was first day to mind back in Season 12, are coming with this next season. Both look great, I think, perfect for role-playing as this cryptid hunter yourself, as we see it used in these storefront images. A cryptid skull backpack and a Jersey Devil shoe keychain complete the look. We have some first visuals of a new cryptid themed Hallet Hawaiian outfit, which will come with two variations, one with shorts and another with trousers, and Rip Daring's very own binoculars are also in Season 16. As is a cryptid stash box called the World of Cryptids Trunk, there's a new defense kit called the Beach Fences, which will be a new option for settlement defense, and one of my favorite items on this board is up next, a new chemistry bench called the Autopsy. I really like the model for this one. Perfect to go with the new build set, there's also a Pine Baron's unique log cabin staircase, and another new feature on this board, the Magazine Book Box, a consumable which will provide one random magazine. A chessboard display case is a completely new take on displays, and you can show your love for Rip Daring with his own personal flag for your camp. Final section for today, we have Power Armor. The unique paint this time around is available for all sets, and it's called the Devilish Paint. And as season paints go, I think it looks pretty good. A standalone unique helmet is on this board too, this one is called the Cryptid Cyclops. But that isn't all. We don't have complete visuals for this next one just yet, and it seems that the unique power armor for this season will be called Cryptid Hunter Power Armor, and it comes with a unique jetpack called the Devil's Wings. Here's some early visuals of how the model is looking, and I can't wait to see the final version with textures added. Final word for today, now I don't know too much about this just yet, I'm going to be digging into this more before the next news roundup video, but seasons might be about to change with a new battle pass system being added, allowing for a different method of progressing through a season. Not sure what I think about that yet, as I need to do a little bit more digging, but it does seem to be one of the many things that are changing with seasons and other aspects of Fallout 76. For now, that is it. What do you think of these new items shown today? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. This video focused on Season 16, but I'll probably be looking to do another datamine video next week, taking a look at all the new ATX datamines, as there's plenty more to cover. I'll also be diving into the PTS for a full roundup of the new update as on first impression the new storylines were very promising indeed. So look out for that on the channel on Monday. If you enjoyed this particular video please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. We post a variety of Fallout 76 content so turning on the bell icon is definitely the best way to stay up to date. With that said for I am off, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.